attention. What we're going to do today is make some pie dough. Now, there's a few things we've done. We've got some really nice cold butter. When it's frozen or partly frozen like that, what I'd like to do is take a little flour, put it on a board, and then break it up into small pieces. You can hear the snap in there. Rice Krispies. Alright, we weighed out three cups of uh, flour. We put our butter in this. The reason for the flour is it helps keep the butter to stay apart, which is what you want rather than a big chunk in there. yield a really nice pie dough. The additional flour we have here is negligible. All right, what we also have here is very cold shortening. I'm going to put that in. Mix it up. The key is to cut this in. Best pie dough, I believe, comes with lard. Very traditional. The only problem with lard is Due to the ongoing cholesterol situation in this country, it's not the best for your heart, but boy is it great for tasting. Yeah, you can buy lard at uh, some supermarkets. It's still very uh, big in uh, Hispanic markets and things like that. They still use quite a bit of it. It's not as easily as found as it was years and years and years ago. At this point, I'm going to, pretty broken up, I'm going to frise it, which means I'm going to mash it into the flour itself. I'm going to make a mealy dough. So it's a little bit, you know, I'm going to have some flake, but not too much. The key is not to overwork this. If you overwork it, you're going to run into problems. Butter is nice and cold, which is great. You really want that cold butter. You want that little chunks of fat in there. 
So when it melts, it really tenderizes your uh, your dough. At this point, I'm going to add my sugar, salt. What's it? One uh, teaspoon. Yeah. Teaspoon of salt. Now, if I were going to make a pate sucre, I would have uh, probably not two tablespoons, but be closer to about a half a cup. Better for wet fillings, very moist fillings. All right, this is what I'm looking for. Crumbly, chunks of fat in there. Wait, sounds like I hit puberty on that one, huh? All right, slowly add your uh, water, little by little. I have ice and water in here. The reason is I really want this cold. I don't want to... Uh... I don't want to melt that fat too much, and I just want to bring it together. Like I said, I just want to bring this together. I don't want to overwork it. stretched across the top. So it's probably a 60-40 split there. All right, now the next thing I want to do, notice you see the chunks of butter in there, and that's a good thing. At this point, I want to mash this down into a disc. Now, the reason why is when you go to roll it out, it's going to make your life a whole lot easier. in here so I'm going to let it wait so I'm going to wait overnight on this all right you can wait as low after two hours you can really work it 
But waiting overnight doesn't hurt it either. All right, you keep it up to three days in the fridge. Any other questions? All right, this ends the first part of this, yeah? Is it no?